it's Jessica. So today's video is a little bit different than the videos that I normally do. On Saturday, which was June 17th, I went up to Chicago and Naperville and met Bethany Moda, who is a YouTuber. If you guys have never heard of her, go check her out. And she's been doing YouTube for a really long time. She's like 10 million subscribers, which is crazy. And she's the one who inspired me to create my YouTube channel. So I went up to go meet her. So today I'm going to be telling you guys like the whole experience of the whole thing because I asked you guys in my last video if you guys wanted me to do this video. And I got some responses that said you would love to see it. So I'm just going to be kind of sharing my experience and putting some like pictures and clips and stuff in here for you guys to see as well. So I hope you enjoyed and let's just go ahead and get on into the story. So Bethany was on a book tour. She went to a bunch of different bookstores all across the country and to promote her book. Like you got like a signed copy of the book and you got to meet her and get your picture taken. So she had been doing this for a little bit and I told myself that I didn't need to go because I had already met her and I didn't need to go meet her twice and it's like a three hour drive from where I live so I didn't really want to drive all the way out there. I was busy and stuff like that so I'm like well I don't, I've already met her. I, I'm okay with not going but then I saw her meeting other people at the other events. My friend had said she wanted to hang out that day and I'm like let's just go to Chicago and meet her because the more I thought about it the first time I met her I hadn't started my channel yet and she is like the reason that I started my channel so I really wanted to tell her that and to thank her in person for everything that she's done for me like she's the reason that I have this channel the reason that I found this is what I love to do and I really just wanted to tell her that and be able to like you know tell her like give her a hug and be like thanks for changing my life so um we decided the night before at like 10:30 that we were gonna go meet her and I called my friend and we bought our tickets and we're like let's go so um we just spontaneously decided, hey, let's go meet her. So we got our tickets that night. I got up at 7 o'clock the next morning, and then we left at 8 because the signing started at 11, so it took three hours to get there, so we'd get there on time. We drove out there, and we listened to music. It was like jam the whole way, and it was really fun. there we actually drove past Joliet and the Louis Joliet Mall which is where I met Beth the last time at three years and two months before I met her this time I met her on the 17th both times which I think is pretty cool so we drove by like the mall that I met her by and it was just kind of like feels like oh my gosh I met her there three years ago and now I'm going to meet her again it was just really cool to drive past that so then when we got to the bookstore it took us forever to find a place to park because there was no place to park because it was downtown Naperville and all the parking lots were full. And we ended up parking like five, four or five blocks away. And we walked in, it was a little crazy. There was just people standing all over and it wasn't super organized. They hadn't like organized everybody yet, so we were just kind of standing there. And like you had an assigned number, so you were like that number in the like line to meet her. We were numbers 183 and 184. There was like 200, 210 people, so we were in like pretty much the end of the line. It was at Anderson's Bookshop in downtown Naperville. It was pretty small so they couldn't fit everyone in like a line that went through because they had um, like 20 people based on number like lined up in each like row of books and it didn't have enough to go all the way through. So we all just kind of clumped and then as people moved forward and met her they put 20 more people in and that's how they kind of like organized it. We got there at like 10 45 and it started at 11 so we waited around for like 15 minutes and then it was not quite 11 but it was almost 11 and we were sitting by like the cash register and um we heard this lady go back and tell them he's like she won't come out until she's done eating her sandwich and they were talking about beth and i was like that is so me and then she ended up coming out at like 11 15 ish so she walked out and everybody screamed they had like a little red backdrop in the back corner that she was going to meet people in from so she went over there and they started moving the line we kind of stood and waited around there for a little bit and then we got put into our like queue in the line so it went pretty fast we weren't waiting for too too long maybe like a half an hour or so before we met her because there was only like 200 people which isn't too bad the first time i met her there was like 3,000 people it was crazy so it was much more like chill and you didn't have to worry about like if you were gonna like get to meet her if you're on the back of the line or anything so it was nice so then we walked forward and then we finally got closer to the front and they handed a copy of her book which is called make your mind up i will talk about the book after i'm done with the meet and greet experience 
talk a little bit about like what the book has in it and it's actually really really cool so i'm gonna talk about this a little bit after it's really really cute i love it that professional photographer that was taking the pictures so we got in line and everyone was just kind of like hugging her so she's like hi and then she hugged them and then they took the picture and then they just walked off like no one was really talking i was like i have this whole thing that i have to tell her you know what i'm gonna do it i don't care if i get yelled at so then the person in front of me talked to her, her just a little bit and then she got a picture with her and then a picture with her mom too so then um I was like, hey Izzy, you know, we should try to get a picture together too. So I went first, so I woke up to her and she was like, hi, she gave me a big hug and then I looked at her and like, I need to tell you something. I don't know exactly what I said, but it was probably something along the lines of this. It's like, I have been watching your videos for like five years and you inspired me to want to create my own YouTube channel and you gave me the confidence to pursue it and not care what other people think and i figured out like what i want to major in college which is like media and video production and you're the only reason that i found what i love so thank you so much for making your videos and for being an inspiration for me and so many other people and then she's like oh my gosh and then she's like you're so sweet and then she hugged me a second time and then we took our picture and then she's like it was so nice meeting you and i walked off and then izzy met her and took her picture and then at the end she was like can we take a picture together and she's like of course so then we both walked up and both took our pictures and then we walked off and then as we walked off um her dad was standing right there and he tried to hand me a backpack that wasn't mine i don't know why so that's just i thought it was funny because her dad was just chilling there and he's like handed me a backpack and i'm like that's not mine <laughs> it was the girl behind us but i thought it was funny then after we met her we walked up to the front of the store and we downloaded our pictures which turned out super cute and then we just walked back out of the store and then we went shopping downtown for a little bit we went and got some italian food for lunch which was really bomb and then we got in the car and we drove home and it was a really really fun day i really really enjoyed getting to meet her and getting to thank her for everything it meant a lot to be able to like tell the person who inspired all of this thank you for doing that um and it was really really cool and i'm so glad i got to do it so now i just want to like briefly talk about her book because i thought personally that this book was just going to be about her life it was going to be kind of like an autobiography is what i was picturing which i was still excited about but it is so much more than that it is actually the coolest thing ever so it does have um some about her life in here but then it also is talking about like confidence and then her style she's got like hairstyles in here and it's just really cute like look at these like graphics it's like watercolored and there's a lot of cute pictures and there's chapters on like confidence and creativity and how she makes her videos and um there's a lot of like food recipes in here which makes me really happy because food is is life like look how good that guacamole salad looks that looks amazing and i'm definitely gonna make that but it's just full of all different sorts of stuff and i think it's actually the cutest thing ever and there's so many like useful things in here i absolutely love it i haven't read like the entire thing but i'm just really excited too honestly it seems like such a really really cool book and there's so much into it and the back has just a bunch of pictures of her and like this cute little layout which i think is adorable so i'm very excited to read this and you guys should definitely go check it out it's called make your mind up so that is it for my experience of meeting Bethany. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you should give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more like story time and experience videos. Let me know in the comments who the first YouTuber you started watching was because I want to know Bethany was mine. What was yours? If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, you should definitely subscribe because I'm uploading videos twice a week now because it is summertime and I've got more time on my hands. I have some really fun videos coming up so make sure you are subscribed so you can see those when I upload them. You guys are going to be one of the first people to watch my video make sure you click the little bell icon to turn the notifications on that way you get notified whenever I post a video which would be cool so I think that's about it for this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a new video this weekend bye